Yo YouTube and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at the latest two characters that are going to be released in the last season of Street Fighter V, we think. Oro and Akira. I've uh, been really looking forward to these two characters to be released ever since they announced them way back when. It was almost last year now. We've already had Rose and Dan. We've got Luke, the last character what's going to be coming out. Oro and Akira are dropping this week so we're going to be able to also get some gameplay footage down on the channel so stay tuned for that. But without further ado, let's jump into the gameplay trailers and see what these two characters are looking like. Oh my. The original Dreamcast load up screen for Capcom. If I go too far, please forgive me. The stage looks sick. Holy shit. Whoa-ho! Got some air combo shit going off here. Nice. Uh oh. Whoa. She's looking insane. Holy shit. This is incredible. The stage looks wicked. Some decent costumes. Story costume looks incredible. Machine and Bird is back. I guess it's time to start warming up. He looks great. <laughs> Is it Some of these setups for the rocks will be incredible. I can see a lot of people having a lot of fun with Oreo. A lot of fun. Holy shit. Cross ups. 
got some Dragon Ball fighting shit going up there. Wow. Fantastic. The story costume, man. I definitely think it shows how far Street Fighter Five has come with these two characters. I mean, um, so much nostalgia in the Akira trailer, the uh, original uh, Capcom logo there popping up, what used to pop up at the start of some of the fighters from the Dreamcast area, uh, MVC2, a couple of my favourites, Power the Power Stone games. Fantastic. I think it really shows how much love they've got for these two characters and how far, as I said, Street Fighter Five has come as a game. It just looks like they've got so much more options with all the different V skills and the triggers now what pop off. I mean, some of these moves in this video, what Akira does is just, un for me, unrecognisable for a Street Fighter Five game. I'm hoping it's showing off what could be a bright future for Street Fighter Six. If they take some of these, obviously, elements and pop them in there, I think it's what the fans want. It just looks like they've got so much more options with what you can do with the character. So much more setups, combos, all the options are there. I think these two characters will definitely get me back into playing Street Fighter V. We're definitely going to get a lot of gameplay footage down on this. Out of the two, I think they both look amazing. I'm not sure which one I'm going to play first. I think Akira looks the nuttiest out of the two, although Oro has got, he's going to have some crazy setups with the mix-ups. I can see a lot of people having a lot of fun with him. I'm looking forward in the future seeing what some of these pro players can do with some of these types of characters. I think it's what everyone's been crying out for. So for more Street Fighter 5 guys, we're going to get some gameplay drop this week. Hopefully, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell to get notified when all these videos go live. And once again, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.